What is split testing? Before we go any further, just what is split testing? And what does the term mean in the context of search engine optimization? Essentially, split testing means taking a product, marketing material, or anything else and creating two slightly different versions of it in order to see which one performs best. This is used by businesses all the time in the real world and helps them to make smarter decisions and to avoid wasted investments. Let's imagine for a moment that you own a chain of fast food restaurants that sell only prawn-based dishes, because why not? Your store has been doing fairly well, but then you hear somewhere that on average, takeaways with red and orange color schemes on their premises tend to earn more. Why? Because those colors increase the heart rate and make people slightly uncomfortable. Therefore, they are more likely to eat quickly and to leave the area, freeing up the table for the next customer. The result is that such venues actually see a higher turnover of customers and greater profits. This is just a random example, but it also happens to be true. The problem is that Prawns for You happens to use a blue color scheme in its interior design. What if you could increase your daily profits in all stores by coloring the store red? Problem is, this could just as well backfire. What if you hurt your brand recognition and thereby reduce your sales drastically? What if the lack of nautical color theme means that people feel less fishy? Whatever the case, you now have three choices. A, leave your stores as they are and leave potential profits on the table. B, change the color of your stores and hope that this doesn't hurt your ranking. C, run a split test. And of course, the last option is the one that will stand to serve you best. To perform this, you will now instruct two or three of your 50 stores to change the color of their interiors. You'll then monitor the progress of those stores for the next six months and then collect all the data together to see what it can tell you. What you're looking for is a sign that the stores that were colored red, A, saw a spike in profits and turnover, B, outperformed the stores that did not change anything. If the change helped to boost your store's success, then you might choose to adopt the change and thereby roll it out across all your stores, potentially seeing a large spike in traffic. If the change hurt your store's success, then you simply change it back and then run the next experiment. The financial damage and the brand visibility will only be slightly impacted, so no harm done. If you had rolled the change out across all stores, then you would have potentially lost a lot of money and created confusion around your brand. And if the change did nothing, then you can basically choose how you want to proceed. This is the basic concept behind split testing, and it is something that companies have been using for decades. Split testing for SEO. How does this work in the world of SEO? Well, while we'll get into the specifics and the nitty gritty of SEO in a moment, the main thing you need to know at this point is that Google relies on a few factors when determining how prominently to feature a website in the SERPs. For example, Google will look for the presence of keywords. It will look for the use of H1 and H2 tags, large, bold text. It will look for images that have certain alt tags and file names and it will look for signals from users, such as the amount of time spent on the page. The problem is that no one knows the specifics of the algorithm. We know that Google likes sites that use keywords subtly, and our best guess is that the ideal keyword density is about 1 to 3%, meaning that the keyword appears 1 to 3 times in each 100 words. But we don't know precisely how many times Google wants us to repeat the phrase. We don't know where the tipping point is, where it becomes too much. We don't know how much Google wants to see us use related terms, and we're not 100% sure whether it's better to focus on just one keyword or to try a few. Again, everyone has their opinions. This makes it very hard to make smart decisions as a site owner. Do you include more keywords in your articles or not? Should you use that image before the text or after it? And is it a good idea to use H1 tags, or are you better off with H2 tags? The answer is that we just don't know. And for that reason, the best option is to run A-B tests, the other term for split tests, in order to see which changes positively affect your search ranking and which do not. 